girl Courtney from Amethyst Adventures. And today I will be participating in an open collab hosted by Miss Wani of Wani's House and Miss Stephanie of Creatively Me with Stephanie. Two fabulous decorating and design divas like myself, honey. And they are giving it up for the people on you. If you are not subscribed to their channels, I want you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, click on my subscribe button, honey, because I'm brand new to you. This one pot meal challenge, I will be preparing oxtails, Caribbean style. A little hot and a little spicy. Something you're going to enjoy. So stick with me while I walk you through okay, the process. Today, for our one pot meal, I am going to make oxtail. So what I have here is about two pounds, maybe a little more or less, two pounds of oxtails, which I've already soaked in vinegar and salt, rubbed them together in and then rinse them well. And now they're ready to prepare. How so I'm going to season them is with salt, oxtail seasoning, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and thyme. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is season them first and then I'm gonna put them in the fridge and let them marinate in that seasoning for a little while. And I'm not very big on measurements, but I will try to include measurements and time. I'm gonna put some time in here because that's what gives it that delicious flavor that we want. Um, you can use fresh thyme, but I have dried thyme on here. Then I'm gonna put just a couple of shakes of Worcestershire sauce. And then browning and this is grace brand so i'm going to give them a nice coating uh, teaspoons i would say yeah i think that ought to do it and then we're just going to take these oxtails and mix them in with the seasoning so they can all be well coated in our seasoning mix and that color looks about right so i'm just going to cover this with a little plastic wrap and put that in the fridge and let that marinate at least three hours overnight is better but at least i'm going to go ahead and chop and prepare all of our vegetables i'm using one medium sized yellow onion i have three small uh colored bell peppers I have about a half of a scotch bonnet pepper and that's going to be more than enough. One carrot. I have two small potatoes just because that's all I have on hand. Some green onion. I have some tomatoes. I get a lot of fresh tomatoes from the farm in the summertime and I dice those up and I freeze them to use throughout the year. My onions. I have some chicken stock. I'm also gonna add a little bit of water to that. And then I have allspice, which is also called pimento. We've allowed our 
oxtails to marinate and then brought that up to room temperature. I'm just gonna dust that with a tiniest bit of flour. Just a tiny bit. You don't want them breaded. That's more than that. I'd say a couple of tablespoons of flour. And that's just gonna help with the browning and it also help it to thicken our sauce. I think that oil is now ready. I'm gonna go ahead and start dropping those oxtails in there so they can brown. And we don't want to fully cook them. We just want to brown them on both sides. And you see that color? That's what we want. Nice and brown on both sides. I am going to take all of our veggies, with the exception of the potato, and put that into our pot. Because I don't want that potato to get too mushy. I have a half a cup of water, chicken broth, half a cup of chicken broth. So that's going to be one cup of fluid in there. If you need more, you can always add more, but you don't want to start off with too much and it come out watery. And I'm going to set it to high and I'm going to start off with it on high for about an hour. And then I'm going to turn it down to low and let it simmer from there. About an hour before it's cooked, I'll go ahead and I'll add the potato. Almost forgot. I'm going to come in and I'm going to add about maybe 10 pimentos. Or it's also called whole allspice. I'm going to give this a stir and make sure that everything is well incorporated. Give this probably four hours of cook time. I'll cook it for an hour on high and then I'll reduce the heat and just let it simmer for the rest of the uh, three hours. Okay, so we'll check back in and see how this is going in about an hour. So it's been about an hour and I'm going to turn this down to low and let it simmer for a further three hours. Our delicious Caribbean style oxtail is now ready. Thank you so much for watching.